Good evening, Maestro. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's quickly doing out the post. Okay, post has been made, we're good to go. And then I'll be back to your favorite, some Path of Exile. Okay, so before we get into everything, we'll do the normal introductions. Welcome everybody to the stream. Everybody is welcome. If you do pop in, let me know that you're here. Say hi. For those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure at a later date. So if you want to go show some love and support there as well, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and you'll see whenever past live streams get updated. Also over here, if you can help spread the word, the love and support would really be appreciated. We're trying to grow. We're trying to reach that next target of 50 followers. So any help that we can get in that regard would be highly, highly appreciated. So quick little recap tonight. We're carrying on with our um, power siphon build. We're currently on level 69. We've just started off the maps. It's the first time in the league. Um, all my past builds were done in standard. So now that we're in the league, we need to get currency. We need to get our uh, map upgraded. And there's a couple of levels that we need to farm out as well so that we can finish off this build. That's powerful, but it's going to get stronger. Hopefully. That's the goal. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and let's see how far we can get. Uh, watch this. Did I get any extra shit? That would be nice, but it's... It's not really that nice because it's not the stuff that I really want. Is this really part 45? Did I fuck it up? Did I call it part 45? <laughs> hold up. Hold up. <laughs> it's part 5. Done. Okay, it's been updated. <laughs> I suppose technically if you really tried to and you broke down like every hour into like a three-parter, three, uh, three -parter, <laughs> you could maybe get to part 45. <laughs> okay, that's been updated. My bad. Okay, so let's see, where were we? We had just come up over here. We were going into this. We're on level 69, so we can grab 70 over there. 71 will be Ghost Reaver, 72 will be Chaos Inoculation, and then we complete off the rest of the server. Sorry, I think that was wrong way around. It's 70 or 71. I think that's based on my, based on this piece of equipment. Um, where is it, this? 71, yeah, it is 71, 72. So 71 we get Reaver. And then 72, we grab Chaos Inoculation. And then from there, we finish off that. Got you. So at this point, I just need to run as many maps as I can and hopefully pick up more maps as I go. So we're just going to run the highest tier map that we've got, which is 5. But we do need to upgrade them a bit. And then I don't have anywhere to put these right now. So they are just going to get dumped. Uh, it's dump them in here. Oh shit, okay. Hey, you got work tomorrow. Uh, resistance attack speed movement. Elemental. Okay, no reflect. 
no reflect no reflect okay so we're good to run all three of them consecutively yeah okay uh you what shift are you working tomorrow are you working an early shift or are you working a late shift Okay, sound is on, everything can be heard. I think the sound is loud enough. There it is. Well, that's at least a much better working time than previously. So what, quarter to three, you're going to be done for the day? That's nice. Yeah, but it's still doable. I feel so much slower now that I don't have that mage blood. <laughs> Just need a moment. Bubble. I got another bubble. Two bubbles in a row. Build is definitely handling as well. Very, very well. Anything for me? Nothing. Uh, let's just keep those over there. That's gonna pick up all the shit that I can, because I'm still broke as shit, so I need to get currency. don't like shields because they take up quite a lot of space but eh. unset ring there's an unset ring put that there and we'll grab that uh, attack and spell block rank nice Nice and easy, nice and quick. Out with some currency, and we've got a tier 6 map. Cursed, yep, that's fine. Got this, continue to work our way up. So it's going to be a while before we get the tree to where I want it to be. Because we need to go up, we need to get all the way through this, we need to complete off the full circle at the top, and then we need to make our way so that back down to here so that we can block out everything except for legion sacred grove and i can't remember what the other one was it's blight i can't remember what the other one was uh did you do your third lap i have not i haven't touched laps i haven't even done my second lap fuck the third lap first lap sorry third I haven't even done my second lab. Good evening, JJ. Welcome. Hi. I did not want to sell that. I 
do want to sell that though. You should probably do it as soon as you can. You just had a switch. Two. And we're doing good while I'm doing good. And yourself. Had a good day. Hopefully you've had a nice chance to relax this Sunday. Don't give up. I suppose I should just suck it up and go get it done. Uh, problem is, I don't remember where all these things are, so I have to check this thing to find out where they are. So, lower prison, the crypt, and the chamber of sins, level 2. Lower prison, the crypt, and chamber of sins. And that is all in Act 6 and 7. <laughs> don't you relax on a Sunday? It's like the one day of the week that I actually properly relax. Uh, where are we going? Oh, you work on a Sunday. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Final shift of the week next week. Somebody get a promotion or somebody moving to a new opportunity. Relief is the strongest metal of them all. Weeks go Friday to Friday. Ugh. I've got four days off on Tuesday. Well, that's nice, though. That's actually a benefit. I've always said that if you are working like ridiculous shifts, it's okay if it's balanced by the amount of days that you get off. I'd hope for it. Stay sharp when I hear the clink of stay out of trouble. Yeah, I work a normal Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Yeah, so it's basically Monday to Friday, it's 9 to 5. Then it's gym afterwards, relax with the wife, make dinner, and then half past 9 every single night. It is... Start the live stream until about 12, 1 o'clock, and then it all just re <laughs> recycles. So, busy boy. Okay, and then it goes on to Act 7. So, I need Chamber of Sins, level 2. Level 2 is this way, if I'm not mistaken, I ran away from it. Yeah, it's a, f it's a fact that I knew I just ran in the opposite direction for some stupid idea. Like, it's literally right here. The waypoint literally tells you the direction that you need to go. This is me and my infinite wisdom. And obviously, I don't exactly have to worry about anything over here killing me because everything is going to get one tapped. All right, see you now. Okay, where was the last one? I know it's also in Act 7. Uh, one was the Chamber of Sins. I can't remember where the last one was. 
Nothing screams. I think it was the crypt. I think it was crypt. Yes, solve the child. Okay, I found it, and I just need to work my way around to it. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to number three being an actual option for me to choose for health, but then I forgot we actually replaced the life flasks. As I've only got one life flask now. That was funny. Shine boldly so that all may find you when the night falls. My delay is really bad today. That's not good. Uh, the stream's still running at uh, 6,000 kilobytes per second, so I'm still maintaining the usual upload speed. Maybe just drop the quality a little bit. Maybe you're having some issues with, uh, with the stream itself. Let me just check on my side. There's nothing else affecting it. Uh, it seems to be a bit. No, it seems to be fine on my side. That's really random. Really, really random. <laughs> okay, we can do the second one now. I really wish that this was one of those things you only ever have to do it once and then never do it again. I suppose it does technically apply like that. You only have to do it once per league. You don't have to do it once per character, right? You just do it once per league. And then, yeah, if you've done it in standard, you only have to do it once ever and then never have to worry about it again. Well, I'm talking about, like, you don't have to go find this stuff. You still have to run the thing, but... Just need a moment to light my way. Yeah. No, I'm also was referring to the... Having to find the... Um, the Ascendancy Trials. For those who ascend okay. Okay. Somehow that happened. Like, I'd love to know how I died there because that trap does a percentage damage and only one trap hit me. And I know for a fact that one of those things don't do enough damage to kill you. But I wasn't bleeding, was I? Or did I just completely miss that? again i was oh fuck six all right all right then i had 100 my fault then i oh, don't want to go that way no fuck it i'm not going this way there has to be another way through grab the portal scroll because i'm burning through my portal scrolls i'm definitely not doing that bullshit so i don't have a choice i have to go this way
I will take those because those are six sockets. A random place to drop six sockets. I am so slow. I am so, so slow. You think I'm going to one-tap him? Or do you think it's not strong enough yet? It's about at 106,000. Eh, it's about four hits. Quick and that's all that my oh, that's true. I just wanted to curious because I'm so over leveled for this area, I was curious to see if um I'd one tap him or not. Please be the trial, please be the trial, it's not the trial. But at least going horizontally across, so that's a win. This is how I feel in T sixteen maps, that's insane. I just need to think how I'm going to get speed, because this movement speed is killing me. The movement speed that I was getting from that mage blood that you had was amazing. I want to know how I can replicate that myself. Without necessarily having a mage blood. Because I don't think I'm going to easily just, you know, just magically stumble across a mage blood. Could, could not. Depends. When the time and I'm getting like almost no XP for running this. Strikes without hesitation to entertain one defiles the energy. energy. One defiles the emperor. Good chat. Oh, you're still fighting. Such resilience. Those who stand should never outnumber those who kneel. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Fuck, I hate these traps. I really, 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 really hate these traps. But it's okay. We live and let learn. This layout is looking to be exactly the same as the previous layout was. If that's the case, that's going to be awesome. I'll take the boots as well, and I'll take that as well. Nice little sail. The layout was exactly the same. Please tell me. It's the nope, it's going to take me. That's fine. The layout was exactly the same. Makes my life easier. I hate this section. Ugh.
That ain't how this thing normally works. I'm just going to have to follow the fire and deal with the fire. I'll take that and I'll take that. No, you can get lost. It's not through there. It's not, well, I've got a funny feeling it's not going to be this way. There we go. Last aspirant trial and then we're done. An aspirant can afford to be promising. An emperor must keep those promises. The empire awaits you with open jaws. So call the number now already. Do you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Triumphant at last. I've got two keys. He's done, and I can grab one more thing. I'll grab the boots. Two and seven. Got you. Okay. Two. Four. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven was good. One gave us fuck all. Sorry, seven was good. Two gave us nothing. Absolutely nothing. My inventory is full now, so I'm going to drop this because I want to do the standard. We grab a... Blue gem. Uh, do I have a blue gem? Play more. That'll work. Crackling lance of disintegration. Ice nova of, of deep freeze. And summon reaper of evisceration. It always sounds so personal. Any of them good? That might be kind of cool. I want to see what that looks like. Cracking lance. Ice Nova. It's a it's a it's a Ice Nova. Summon Reaper of Evisceration. The last one was the Summon Reaper of Evisceration. One Summon Reaper, minions attacks a 50% chance to inflict bleeding. Minions deal 39% more damage with bleeding. Reaper causes your non-Reaper minions to deal 21% less damage. Reaper causes your non-Reaper minions to have 21% less maximum life. Yep, yeah, I'll take this one then. I'm just curious. Um, I'm gonna dump the wand quickly. I know it's a. I'll get up now. I just want to test something. Just put that in there for now. That's got quite a bit of reach to it. That could be an interesting build. Let's put away the currencies. It's all the currencies I have. Everything else is getting sold except for this. Yep, everything else is getting sold. So in here now, what did we want next? So we went for one step ahead. Are we going now for hot stopper? Actually, what does the build say? Uh, next one we can go for is either Polymath uh, or Escape Artist and then on to Spellbreaker. So, what damn it, different type of mastery you have allocated. Well, I've got quite a few masteries activated, so I think I'm going to run this for now. And then for my next two, I'll grab into that. However, that gives me spell suppression. Ooh. Nope, I'm going to go that way first. Uh, 
Okay, we're done with this. And I suppose now we need to, uh, you know, I first want to run a map or two. Sell, 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 sell. Thank you, and sell. Nice bit of currency. Don't even go into Spellbreaker. Which way do you go from Spellbreaker? Do you instead go to Heartstopper or to Swift Killer? Or do you just not bother? You went for Soul Drinker. Oh, Soul Drinker. 2% of damage leads as energy shield. Well, well, that actually makes sense because because of what we're doing in regards to what the hell is that thing called? Because we're going to be switching into Chaos Inoculation, that's going to become really, really good. Sorry, not Chaos Inoculation. Uh, Ghost Reaver. Leech energy, energy shield instead of life. Okay, might go that way as well then. Yeah, and they were referring to how many masteries you've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten masteries. So that's ten masteries. So on this one, that means it is going to be a 10% of life on each kill, 10% energy shield on each kill, and recover 10% mana. I can live with that. Hmm... Should I just do the other ascend the third ascendancy trial now or just run a map or two and then come back to it? Or just get it out the way. Just checking where I actually need to go for this shit. Uh bathhouse, tunnel, and ossuary. So eight, nine, and ten. Wait for labor till Sarah switch. Alright. Makes life easy then. Okay, still got the build up over here. How far are we from leveling up? We're on level 69. One more level into. One more level into this, and then we hit 71 and 72. No worries at all, Master. Thank you very much for the love and support, man. I really appreciate it. And then, hope you have a good day tomorrow. <laughs> no worries at all, man. Go get some rest. Have a lovely day. And then I'll see you for tomorrow night stream. Not 100% sure what I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Then it's going to be a finger delay <laughs> rather than a stream delay. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night, but it's probably going to be some more Path of Exile. If not, it's probably going to be something else. It might be some more Risk of Rain or I might do some Deep Rock Galactic. But I was thinking as well, I might want to start a Borderlands 3 character and run some of that again. That's a very quick death. Five times portals, I need that. Because I'm burning through my fucking portals relatively quickly. And always thanks for being a maestro.
Approach, challenger. Oh, we're gonna do this. Many make your choice. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Um, Shadow Cloud. Keep going. Further commit to a more difficult challenge or bulk. No, nope, we'll go for more. Rare that one is the breath of living air. A choice of futures. Uh, let's just keep going. The vulnerable shade. Even more difficult. Buff six by five times faster. Let's just do that one. Is your enemy. Do you wish to keep your fortune? Yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, of greater riches. Yeah, let's go with that one. Vengeance is cold indeed. Your potential and I died. Unrealized. No idea what the fuck hit me there, but oh well, I'm dead. I got the level that I wanted at least. So one more goes into there, and the next level then goes into Chaos Reaver, then the third level goes into Chaos Inoculation, and then we switch over to the Shadow What's a What What's a, What's a Face thingy. Fusings. Get the boots. Damage over time. Conflict. Pleasure. Hello, lady. You're just gonna make my life difficult, aren't you? Hey, got battle pass that I'm not gonna pay for. I'm not here. I'm guessing that's on your phone. <laughs> well, I hope you're nice and cozy and comfy. did that then. Uh, next map. And no more delays. I've got no idea. Maybe it's just your laptop. Are you hardline connected with your laptop when you watch or with your computer? Or are you watching via Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. Maybe it's something to do with your laptop? Fuck knows. I'm speaking like I've actually got a solution. I honestly don't know why it's doing that. Gloves. At this point, I'm just picking up everything because my ass is broke. I need currency. 
but also I want to take up stuff that's going to maximize the amount of space that I've got. So gloves, helmets, boots, and then obviously any six sockets that I come across. Weapons I'll take as one stuff like one swords, daggers, nothing really two-handed. pieces unless it's a six socket it has to be the laptop it's the only thing i can think it is because if it's working perfectly fine on your cell phone okay true it is smaller it's got a it's a pixel range that it needs to um load but still it's most likely your laptop if anything Take the boots, take the other pair of boots. Let's play some Tetris. Okay, now I barely cleared out this place. I'm just going to backtrack a bit. I am so fucking slow. I need to upgrade my flask to see if it can't hold more charges or that less charges are consumed because right now I basically use it once or twice and it's, man, it's finished. It is currently 40% increased movement speed, but it's 30 and 60. Used when you hit a rare or unique enemy, if not already in effect. But it honestly doesn't feel like it's kicking in a lot, but then again, probably not running into too many rares or uniques. Anyway, is it rare or unique? Oh, so the blue enemies don't even count. Oh. I just need a moment to catch my breath. So you're just gonna lower your res a bit. Oh uh, no, my res is gonna be good. I think my res is gonna really gonna be fine. Well, simple fact that my res at the moment is on 66, 66, 76, and 75. Okay, my fire resistance is gonna drop though. Yeah. And the other ones I will be good because it's like 116 and 169. But I do think my fire res is gonna drop to a point where I might not be too happy. Grab the gloves, let's grab the gloves, and then let's see how quickly I die. It's a nice way for me to escape if I need to. Boots. Thank you, motherfucker. And uh, dump these boots. Grab those, and if I'm not mistaken, those are movements. 24% increased movement speed. Nice. Welcome back, JJ. Service which lowers your raise by five per equipped corrupted item, I believe. And I don't have any crap that I... Okay, I got one, two, three, four. So I got four corrupted items. So that's going to be 20. Oof, that might be a bit painful. I need more pockets. 
nice little boots there. Evasion rating, movement speed, cannot be stunned, and debilitate enemies for 4 seconds when you suppress their spell damage. I honestly thought I was going to die there. Because I was hoping looking for a cheap way out. Without having to use any portal trolls. A shit ton of energy shield. That is true. Yeah, let's go back and sell everything. Sell, 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 sell. I'm going to keep that. It's a unique, so I'm gonna just stash it. I might need it for something else. Can't remember where I put my uniques. There they are. And then let's put away the currencies I might have picked up. Got more of this shit. The Maven currently holds a recreation of this map's boss. Nice. Maven has no interest in maps, so it's a low tier. Okay, so I think that's higher maps, so I'm going to run this one regardless. Let's just upgrade it. True. Just for what do we swap it, though? Uh, um, 50% charge, players have 40% less recovery, mounts. Okay, there's no reflect. I can deal with that. Atlas mission for this map. Okay. A tri raise belt. Okay. Oh, hello. Another map. Tier 3. Pretty. I will take the helmet, I'll take the wand, I'll take the gauntlets, I'll take the boots, I'm not taking the axe. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Moonstone ring. Uh, Tahuka's timing. Every single time I see a unique drop, like everything inside me is like, please, 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 please be a mage blood. And then it's like, nope, not for you. Four hundred hours, and I've never had a single uh, mage blood drop. Okay, so first one we do. Because we've now got the level, we grab Riva. Damn, are they? Are, like, is it that rare? Jay Tan, tell me every single mage blood that you've ever used, you've bought. That's insane though if you think about the job drops. What is the job drops on a blade on a mage blood? There's like 0, 0.00 fuck you chance you're never gonna get it. Or do you need that like it's a T0 drop? Okay. So you need that 100 percent popular YouTuber luck to be able to get a drop of that. Okay, let's quickly backtrack and let's go do the Sanctum. 
Ooh, nice gloves. And you can fuck off. Are you good? A try head grip. Ugh. Yeah, it's amazing. Like some of us, like 400, 500, 2000 hours in, you never get a mage blood. And then there's one streamer who literally gets two of them a drop at the same time. I think it's like the most popular POE clip. <laughs> Either that was a bug with that event, or that man has got the luck of the gods. Just need a moment to grab Onyx. Doesn't take up space, and it's free currency. My map is, my map, my mouse is freaking out, it's, for some reason it keeps warping to the top right of my screen. Hello there. <laughs> Luck of the gods, imagine the clickbait, but that's just it. It was actually like, the video is there, motherfucker dropped two of them. I'm wrong. Don't drink the water. Seems risky. I think if I had to put on one of my streams that listen, yeah, I just roll, I just drop two mage bloods. I think that'll be the fast I ever, ever, ever like go up in like quite a couple of views. Alright, so we are going to drop a lot of shit that I picked up. Because we want these sixes. I'll take an unset ring. Obviously we'll take that. We'll take the bog map. Uh, we'll take the essences. <laughs> I promise you, it's, it's actually my fucking mouse that's shitting out. <laughs> You'll see, like, every random me, like, now and then, I'll just, like, yeet to the top right corner. I'm not going to take that unique because my luck, it's probably shit. My luck, it's actually one of the good ones, and I'm just dropping it out like, eh, it's casual trash. Glad to see. Yeah, there's a superior seismic trap. <laughs> That's exactly what I need for the next build. I think they drop this. Oh no, that's a six link. I don't have space left. I need that, and then I need the ring. Anything else I really need and or want? I'll take the coral ring, that's just because there's space for it. I ain't got space for jack shit else. Okay, that's as good a place as any, let's get out of here. Yeah. I just said fuck it and just... Maybe shoppers touch. In a gambling mood. Uh, sell that. Uh, sell, 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 sell. I'll keep the ring. Scrap metal. No idea what that's for. I'll keep the essences. And that's it. Everything else we can just throw into a stash. Um, let's, go there. let's go back to my maps. Just put all of these guys away so I know what I'm working with. And we'll dump that in there. I don't actually have an essence tab, so for now, 
That one can go there. That one I can move out. That one can go there. And we'll just drop this one inside, yeah. No idea where the scrap metal goes. It went somewhere. And I'll put this inside here. And then sell off the one random ring. Okay, so we actually only need to get one more level. Until next time. Reach the inventory of rock. Oh, well, fuck me, okay. So, I have now chosen Ghost Reaver. I need one more level, then we can choose Chaos Inoculation, and then we can switch over and put on the new chess piece. Let's grab a new map. What's the highest tier map I've got? Is a 7. Uh, let's use that. I am running out of alchemy orbs very, very quickly. And there's no reflect, so I'm good with that. Will she be happy? She will be happy. Nice. What are you up to this evening, uh, JJ? Are you actually getting some rest or are you playing games or are you reading again? We're just going to go in to the boss fight. I am not using Grace, no. I am using Wrath and Discipline. I don't think Grace was ever called for on this build, was it? Uh, it was actually called for. Why don't I have Grace? I'm gonna die because I died because I didn't have any fucking heals left. I had beaten the boss and then I fucking died because I had zero heals left. I'm gonna replace this. See, I needed one fucking hit. I'm gonna get rid of this um, onslaught flask. It's not worth it. I'm not using it. Rest again and did have KFC. Oh my god, I can't remember when last I had KFC. I honestly cannot remember. Honestly not. I was actually, the, the inventory was irrelevant on the side. I wasn't focused on that at all. I literally watched my health run down and I couldn't fill up um, my health again because I had nothing left in the flasks. I don't think I get myself grace. I don't know why I'm not running grace. Sorry, there was like four core topics of conversation that just happened there. Um. Oh, back to the KFC. It has been a young while, like a proper while since I've had KFC. Like the most recent like take out that I had was Burger King. For me, KFC is one of those things, like, I have to really be in the mood for it. Otherwise, like, I'm not the biggest fan of their chicken. It's just way too oily. There was a shop in... There was a restaurant, well, takeout joint in South Africa, a place called Chicken Lake. And I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I don't know if you guys have got it. That, for me, was some damn good chicken. Must have been before you met your wife. Holy shit, and how long have you guys been married? Okay, hold on. Something's definitely going on with my mouse over here.
five years soon. Holy shit, so you haven't a KFC in five years. Like, I was talking, like, maybe, like, a couple of, like, like a three or four months. Jeez. Not five years. Okay, you won that one. And congratulations, by the way. Five years ain't no small feat. That's for sure. Especially the world we live in nowadays. My wife and I only, you know, like going on, oh fuck, uh, a year and four months. You have an hour to drive to the nearest KFC. Okay, well, that's a very good reason not to waste money on takeouts. It's a very good reason. Additional projectiles, endurance, monsters, maim, extra life. Okay, that'll look. Oh no, 100%. I also agree. I'm not going to drive a fucking hour. I'm not going to waste the petrol and waste the money and then have to drive all the way back. No, fuck that noise. Thank you. No, I agree with you 100%. It's not worth it driving that far for something as trivial as KFC. If it was like five minutes <laughs> yes it's worth it <laughs> just bought the KFC franchise in your home <laughs> yeah just have strangers walk past your living room window like hey can we have KFC <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to level up just yet. I'm going to finish off this. Finish off the map, do the fight first before I accidentally just fuck myself completely. And then once I've done the arena fight, then we'll do the level. Switch over to the point where I've only got one health. I have nothing but pizza kebab burgers within 30 minutes. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> Is this why you're always looking like an Asian style home cuisine? <laughs> and those places that do burgers are primarily pizzerias. Yeah, it's not the same. It is not the same. No, I don't want to do that. We've got a joint here down the road from us. Okay, when I say down the road, they deliver. It's like maybe 20 minutes away. Um, and they're the ones that we normally get the butter chicken and non bread um, from. And oh, a nice chicken tikka masala. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like, I'm not a big, like, um, Asian cuisine person. But that, for some reason, just rocks. Yeah, I think that's enough people dead for now. Okay, that looks good. We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take the platinum Chris, we'll take the ones. We'll take the Breach and Emperor's Luck. You guys can die. We'll take the Topaz Ring and what do I have left? Oh, quite a bit of space. We'll take the Mask, the Crown. And that's a small shield. We'll take that. Uh, 
Buddies is quite good, but I grew up in a town with the best pitchery in the country. You see, I don't know, buddies. It's not something I've got here. Like, I've got a New York pizza and a Domino's. Oh, and Little John's. But I've never actually personally eaten at Little John's. Can I stop being so slow down? Thank you very much. Didn't die this time. Yay. Take the wand. Take that. And got space for nothing else. That's fine. I was not expecting something to come out of it. But it's just a local pizza place. I gather as much, but yeah, no. Don't definitely don't have something over here like that. Sell, sell, sell. We're gonna keep the unique. I think that was unique as well, so we're gonna keep that. Don't give up. So that's where you get your Jiros. Nice. I'm not a big fan of takeouts in, like, in general. We have them, like, in my house, we have them very little. Not because it's expensive or anything like that. It's just because it's ridiculously unhealthy. It's greasy. It's fatty. It's, uh, And it's ridiculously overpriced for what you get. Okay, so now we can officially do the one that's going to make me cry. Now we're going to watch my health go from 1,334 to 1. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Okay, and then we grab the lovely chest piece. And we put that on. Now that that's on, our energy shield is 3,749 with a max cap of 1,750. Oh, no, there it goes. And let's see what happened to my res. 30% down on fire resistance. Fuck me. Cold and lightning is still fine with my fire res. So it's ass. I think it's actually a good thing. Like, I don't have any kids yet. But, like, it's already something we've discussed. And, like, our kids are not going to get raised on shitty junk food. That's for sure. I'm sorry, I refuse. I'm not going to have a morbidly obese kid running around at the age of six because I was too lazy to actually cook the child's like, proper nutritious meals. Uh, can I do anything here? Because I feel very slow. Now, I highly doubt that obviously I can't put it on a unique. Can I put it on a chest piece? No, I can't. Can I put it on the shoes? No, I can't. Is everything I'm wearing uniques? Yes, they are. The rings, the gloves, the... Okay, so I physically can't do shit about my movement speed. What's this now? A mother's meeting? I'm confused. Many mushers only like the pizza crust and the fries. Only the crust. Strange child. <laughs> JJ, I'm very confused. Why is it why are we in a mother's meeting now? Yeah, hits pass Katibi. Katibi? Katibi? What the fuck is a Katibi? 
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it looks like this this channel is going to come down to like three things. Um, Path of Exile <laughs> and me getting carried by Maestro. <laughs> Talking shit and then food. Because that's like the main topic. <laughs> food review streams. I'm sorry, I'm not turning this into a mukbang. I refuse. Have you seen what happens to the individuals that do do that food shit? I will not be the next Nikocada Avocado. I refuse. Thank you. My shit's broken mentally, but nah, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, hell no. No, we don't. We do not. Thank you very much. I'd rather sit with absolutely no followers and no viewers with literally for the rest of my streaming career with only the two of you in here rather than do a mukbang. Like, you know what, like, concerns me more, funnily enough, is not the person who's doing, like, the mukbang. Like, the person who's doing the mukbang is effectively just eat to, eating a metric fuck ton of food. It's just an unhealthy habit. It's, like, that's not too bad. The person doing the mukbang ain't the problem. The problem is the people watching it. Like, how much pleasure are you getting out of watching somebody eat a metric fuck ton of food? And normally not eating it in the most pleasant way. It's normally like up close in your ear, hearing the chomping sounds and like fucking just the... Oh, bleh, no, thank you. Like I'm more concerned with the people that enjoy it. <laughs> like each one to their own. Like everybody's got their own kink, but fuck me. Really. <laughs> Beard meets food. That's unhealthy eating. Okay, question. Is he trying different cuisines from all over the place? Or is has he got like 400 french fries in front of him, wolfing it down, and eating like an absolute pig on stream? There's a difference though. He does eating challenges. Uh, let me see. I think yeah, I know which guy you're talking about. Let me just double check here. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, it's Beard Meats. Beard Meats. So this is the guy. Yeah, this is the dude that drives around basically to all the different restaurants and that kind of stuff that have got um, uh, like these ridiculous challenges of trying to eat like 500 hot wings in an hour and that kind of stuff. That is kind of still okay. And you can see that the man still takes care of himself. You can see that he's trying to offset the amount of food that he eats with decent exercise. Just having a look at what the guy looks like. But yeah, some of these burgers and things like that. It's still not a mukbang. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird in my personal opinion. <laughs> I don't know where to stand on that, but each other their own, I guess. He used to be a bodybuilder. Ah, you see. Okay. So one of the benefits that the bodybuilder has, he knows what the caloric intake is, and he knows what a caloric output is going to be, what he's going to burn if he goes in for a proper exercise session. He knows where his basal is, his basal metabolic rate, and he knows how to offset that. So he knows how to look after himself while consuming that amount of food.
still maybe not the greatest habit, but it's it's still better than like we've seen skinny kids go from being not the worst looking individuals in the world to becoming morbidly obese just because it's wolf food down your throat. Uh, let's do one of these. 75, 69, 112, 112. Nothing gets reflected, so we'll do that. Oh, my res is bad. My fucking fire took a shit that's on 30%. Everything else is good, but my fire died. Now I'm running past a lot of shit right now. I'm just trying to get as much out of this encounter as I can. Once the encounter is done, I'll backtrack. Mm, I think that's going to be the end of the encounter. No, it doesn't. I was able to save it. Do some more. Okay. Dump all my shit. Thank you very much. Cluster, delirium orb, timeless. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna take that and put it onto. Let's put it onto the wand. It is 3,900 kills. That's not bad. Spaffingly good. Um, my good sir. I don't know quite how you feel about uh, language and swearing, but I don't think it's spaffingly good. It's pretty fucking awesome. Got a bauble. Jewel cluster. I'm not going to use cremation, so everything else can fall into slots of here. And now that that is done, I can continue with up here. So increase, increase attack speed with ones and increase accuracy rating. I ain't gonna do anything for the damage, but still good. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get rid of the onslaught flask. Well, oh, that shit's get my ass killed again. I don't use it. I don't ever. Oh no, it automatically runs. Never mind. No everything I just said. It's a sacred mana flask. Uh, you can fuck off for a second so I can see what this does. 40% increased amount recovered, 100% increased recovery rate, and skills cost no mana during effect. 1,500. 1,800. So it's not nearly as much, but only 7 of the 35 charges. 8 of the 42. 3.3 seconds over 7 seconds. I'll use that one instead. It's maybe not as much mana, but it recovers it relatively quickly.
Good night, Maestro. Have a good night for it, and thank you very much for coming to the stream. Always appreciate the love and support. Look after yourself, and good luck tomorrow at work. See you tomorrow night. It's only, it's only 11 o'clock now. I was looking at like what a decent hour and a half left of streaming. What's your plans for the rest of the evening, JJ? I don't have any legendaries uniques in here, did I? No, I did not. Uh, yeah. Be here till bed. Okay. You playing anything or are you just chilling back and watching? Come on, you should go here somewhere. Chilling. <laughs> nice. Waiting for you to die and I'll off. Well that's I th I feel like that's that's horrible of you. Like that's not very nice. Like, that's you kind of, like, wishing ill will upon me. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of fucked up if you wished that upon me in real life. I'd be like, okay, jeez, if you don't like my streams, like, there's other ways you could have told me. <laughs> I'd just be like, hey, dude, never show your face on um, Twitch again. Like, that would have been easier. God damn. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> well, I seriously got nowhere to put this. Oh, fuck it, then you two go inside there for now. Along with you two. I just want to go buy myself a flask. Actually, this thing. Rare unique enemy. I'll keep it. I just need to see if I can't get a better health flask. I'm not liking this flask right now. I would love to be able to do that. The problem that I've got right now is it's beyond my point of knowledge. This is where Maestro is phenomenal in being able to assist. So the reason why I say that is, um, let me go back and show you. So every piece of gear that I am working, uh, wearing at the moment is a unique item. So my helmet, Crown of Eyes, uh, Piscator's Vigil, uh, Malachi's Loop, uh, the Shadow Stitch, it's not a, it's not a unique, but it's already been maxed out on its slots. Everything else that I'm wearing is unique. Uh, I'll touch on your sentence now. Uh, Judge, I'll come back to that one. The problem I've got is every single piece of gear that I'm rocking is unique except for the shadow switch. So in the crafting panel over here where I would normally be able to put in a fire res, for example, up to level 40 which is level 3 fire resistance which is 29 to 35 percent fire resistance you can't put that onto uniques okay so that eliminates every single piece of gear except for my chest piece however my chest piece is corrupted so i can't do it on there either so i have got no idea actually how to get my res up he did mention earlier out about switching out the um, belt for something called the tri res now, i don't know if that is a unique as well or if that's a specific type of um a specific type of belt that i need to craft and that's the problem i wouldn't know what base to begin on i wouldn't know where the hell to start so i'm gonna unfortunately have to stick it out stick with the 30 percent um fire res until some point this man comes along and tells me what the fuck i need to do to make it better he's got the skill and the knowledge I don't the only thing that i can really do at this point is 
not suck. Oh, and then coming back to the sentence he said, to be fair, he offered to teach you, and this game isn't normally for me. What kind of games do you normally play? So this is a thousand four hundred, but I can only use it twice. This is a thousand five hundred, but I can use it three times. I'm just gonna switch this out, it's just better for me for right now, at least. For freedom, good, good, fight, good tidings to you. Why do they want me to sell here again? I've got nothing left to do here. Let's listen to what this person's got to say. There's literally nothing left here for me to do. At all. <laughs> um, I'll try nearly anything, but when it's like hectic and involves like a lot of buttons or law or stuff, my brain struggles to comprehend it all. You see, the thing that fucks me with this game is the law, irrelevant. Don't care about it. I don't know the story. I don't know why we're in Ray Clost. I don't know why the one judge sent my ass away. And I don't know why I'm fighting a demon that loses its arm and becomes naked the more I fight it. Fuck knows. Don't know the story about it. Couldn't give two shits about it. The problem for me is like the first... I'm going to say the first six acts. The first six acts you can run. No problem. 100% on your own. Just simply by stumbling along, you'll figure it out. It's not that difficult if something increases your damage. So, for example, if you look at your skill gem, let's take this one for example. Uh, no, let's take the one I'm actually use. It's going to be a horrible example, this. Power Siphon. So it's critical, attack, and projectile. That means that if you find anything in this skill tree that does critical, attack, or projectile, it's probably going to cause the damage of that to go up. Simple. Then anything that says life is going to give you life. Simple. Anything that says mana regeneration means mana regeneration. That part's easy. That part is really easy. However, everything beyond that starts becoming complicated, and that's where I struggle as well. Everything outside that. of the bare basics is where my brain also goes, while well, I've got no fucking idea what you're on about in any form or way. Like, for example, Power Siphon. If we have a look at this thing on its own. Power Siphon simply says, it fires a projectile at seven targets. Cool. Modifiers to number of projectiles instead apply to the number of targets fired at Culling Strike. Now, Culling Strike is a completely different thing. So, uh, it's actually the worst example I'm giving you. Uh, let me put this one back. Uh, where's Lilith? Purchase. Ha! Here we go. Okay. Let's take one of the easiest things you get when you're early on. The very first spell that you ever get if you start of the witch is this one. It's called Fireball. So, pretty straightforward. Unleash a fireball towards a target, which explodes, and damaging nearby foes. You can't get simpler than that. It deals 9 to 14 fire damage. You've got a 25% chance to ignite that target on fire. And it's got a base radius of 0 0.9 meters. So anything within a 1 meter range around it will probably get affected as well. As simple as can be. At the very top, it says projectile spell AoE fire. It means that Whenever you go over here, so if I wanted to increase the damage of this, if I was the witch, for example, the witch starts over here, I've got cast speed and spell damage. Now, because this says projectile and spell, spell is one of the modifiers that it applies to. So anything along here, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, is going to increase the damage of the build. Pretty straightforward. The one next to it, cast speed, means I'm just going to be able to cast it a lot faster. Then we go into elemental damage. You've got your elements, it's your shock, your frost, and your fire. Because it's a fireball, obviously we're going to go firewalker, so increased fire damage. Be straightforward. That's easy. That's straightforward. We'll work our way all the way up till we get over here. That's going to give me more life. Straightforward. That's going to give me more mana. Straightforward. 
Then we go into the Master Builder Rear. This is all just fire damage again, all the way around to the point where it's a 30% increase in fire damage and fire resistance. And then you've got all the rest of it. So for a good couple of levels, I mean, what? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Almost for the first 30 levels, you're sorted. Simple. It's not that hard. It's beyond that that it starts becoming difficult for me. When you start doing like what he's done here, the build has fucked off in so many different directions to look for specific things to make it powerful. That's where my brain goes. Huh? How do I pre-plan this? How do I plan what my end goal is going to be rather than taking it step by step and looking for something that is close by? Because never in a million years that I think that I would start here and end up all, all the way fucking up here. <laughs> I can respect the knowledge that somebody like Maestro has got, but that also goes hand in hand with understanding the fact that this man, this fucker has got like almost 2,000 hours, if not over 2,000 hours in the game. Kind of becomes self-explanatory how he's been able to figure it out so much. Sorry, just give me one moment. I'm just going to put myself on mute for two seconds. Okay, I'm back. And just touching base quickly. It's this right here that I can understand why so many people, especially new players, run from this game. Like Diablo is a piece of shit. An absolute piece of shit. It's a cakewalk compared to trying to understand this. So you've got your first skill tree that you have to understand. Then you've got your second skill tree that you have to understand. Uh, this refers to once you finished off the main acts and you start going into your maps. This is how you specify what type of maps you want to go to, into. What kind of content you want. What kind of content you like. Do you want to go towards bosses? Do you want to go towards map clearing? Do you like the harvest? Do you like legion? Do you like delirium? And those are all elements that you have to experience throughout the 10 acts. Maybe if you're lucky because you're not always going to have um, the random map that you generated. So you might have to fuck around experience and see what's available once you figure it out you then need to build this tree to make sure that you can get the maps that you like and that's by using these nodes over here by blocking out the chances then you're obviously taking the ones that i've got now like that increase the quality of the map the frequency of the maps etc then on top of that we've got the actual atlas now this is the atlas of all the connected maps to make sure that the, every single time you complete a map you get the skill point necessary to upgrade this and then separate from that, you've obviously got to focus on your build as well. And then you've got your ascendancies. And then you've got your Warden of the Magi. It's, it's a lot. It really is a lot. And I can fully understand now why people get absolutely fucked off and they just say, screw it, I'm done. I'm not going any further. 100%, I agree with you. When there's games like this that have too many elements or reading it can put people off, I agree with you. One thousand fucking percent. But I think the benefit that this game comes with is it is free. You don't need to spend a single cent on this game before you're able to determine whether it's for you. And then after that, you can spend a little bit in trying to make it better. Because, I mean, everything you see on screen didn't cost me a cent besides what I look like. The skills, the gems... I didn't buy any of the shit. Okay, Maestro bought it, but you can farm the currency that you need in order to buy this from other people. Because you're using currency that is found in game. It's this shit. More specifically, Chaos Orbs and Divines. But trust me, I fully get it. 
seeing all this shit, seeing everything that goes on with this, it's it's a lot for a new person. Once a lot of it starts clicking, you understand better. But what you think you understand is like the tip of the iceberg. So I respect people like Maestro. I mean, he's been here from the very beginning and he's given me so much guidance. And 90% of it still just goes over my head. And that's going to be a problem because that is my last rare upgrade. Um, yep, I can run that. Warning, warning, warning. Let's do a sulfite run. A tier one map. Oh my god. Drop me a tier one. Alright, see you soon. Go fetch me some more viewers, JJ. <laughs> that sounded so arrogant. That sounded so dickish. While he's away, let's check out everything else is going. It's getting better over there. No views on that. This is concerning. Cool. 
Alright. Nope. Gonna ignore that, son of a shit. I'm here. It's only a tier one map. A tier one and then another tier six. Yeah, it's horrible. But I don't really have anything else I can do about this. Completed, completed, not completed. I'm gonna run a tier one map, a base tier one map. This is gonna be horribly easy. What can I run with it? Just do one of those syndicates. But I've got no scarabs, so that ain't gonna help my shit either. I will take that. Don't even know what that was, but it was a thing. Have you died yet? I have not yet, good sir. But you probably jinxed me, so I'm probably going to die like within the next two seconds. I picked up this thing. A champion's Ursine Charm of the Chiefman. Chieftain. No fucking idea what that does. Never seen it before in my life. This thing. <laughs> it's the best, like, technical description I could get it. You know, I don't want to sound like one of those arrogant dicks that knows everything, so I'll just call it this thing. <laughs> yeah, I honestly got no fucking idea what that thing is. I'd be very surprised if I die on this map because this is a tier one map. It's just a tier one map that I haven't done yet, so I want to get the actors point. I, knew we could I will take that. Line. I will take that. Divine mana flask. I'm not interested in. Hello. War Knights. Salah. Let's unveil this. Let's just grab the first blue one. Dump that. Salah. And then I picked up something else, but I got no idea what it was. Everybody just die. Thank you. Minimum charges has 6%. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just take that. 2400 life. 15 out of 45 charges. So it's. Yeah, it's three times that I can use it over 3.5 seconds. That's exactly the same, but this gives me more health. I'm going to switch that out and use that instead. Paper gloves, pretty cash. And you do know I'm doing all of this with one life, right? Like my health points, like I've got one. One is all you need. Yep. Unless you're a cat. This, this is true. You need all nine of them. Have you seen this stupid shit the cats do? I'd also need nine lives if I do that shit. A burial medallion. That's something important, I think. Uh, this can be bought to Danny to refresh his vendor image. Oh, okay, so that's just to refresh the one, dude. I should get a nice little bump in damage from this. So currently I'm doing, what, about 205,000. 
This is going to be a 30% increase in critical strikes. Just to apply, go from 205,000 to 220,000, so a 15,000 increase. My clear is clever. Your cat is clever. Sometimes. <laughs> Once again, it's not about what he does when he's clever, it's about what he does when he's stupid. <laughs> Fire there. Let's put cold there. And let's put lightning there. Do you have any idea what the bug's going on on the screen right now? I'm effectively playing tower defense right now. So these roots, they spawn in at the end of all these roots. I put down all these towers to protect the root. Back to this thing because I had to protect and look after that. It's basically tower defense within this. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> and I got some scarabs. Very, very nice. Bubble chance, clear oil, chromatics. Now someone said that it make it seems to make sense. Sometimes it just needs a little explanation, just a little explanation for something to just sink in and go, well, fuck me. Okay, so that's how it works. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I keep pressing S. Keep trying to press W and I keep smacking S. And I died. You jinxed me. You horrible individual, JJ. You jinxed me. <laughs> Please don't tell me I just died on a tier 1 map. Did I die on a tier 1 map? I did. I died on a tier 1 map. <laughs> yep, I just had to be nice and cocky in the beginning and say, yeah, no, it's a tier one map. I shouldn't die. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy. Nope. Death is not the deterrent. Take this fucker and bargain this fucker. I guess it's time to play it spying. Hello. I did not get it set up. Do you want to do that for me? <laughs> Uh, unveil. What, what am I unveiling? What did I pick up to unveil? Uh, fire and chaos resistance, cooldown recovery rate, confirm. That would actually be really appreciated. That would actually be very, very nice. You're not obligated in any form or way. I will get around to it eventually. But if you would like to help me, that would be highly appreciated. I need to go back and get that six socket. I'll serve till then. What did you want to save? What were you planning on doing? You have the perfect... Oh, God. Listen, yeah. I like you, but I don't want to see your feet. Okay. Like, you can post anything else that I just don't want to see your feet.
just need a moment to catch my breath. I'm not... Deal's a deal. Exiled. I don't have anything else to unveil. No, I don't. Warm nights. And I can't tell if I've fought the boss in this place yet. I think I did. Sell, 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 sell. No, 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 no. Do not sell those. That was nearly a big fuck up. That's all I need from there for now. I'll sing of you. Don't know where that's supposed to go. Those are divination cards. We've got one that we can go collect. Not interested in that right now. Let's put the maps away. That can get sold. This has to move. To I don't think I have the tab for this. No, I do not. It's not breach. I've got the place for the scarabs. Okay. Aldrich, scarabs. It ain't any of that shit, and it ain't any of that shit. Okay, so these go to the general. I don't know what to do with the fuck with them. Box. Yeah, that can't get sold. Hail. Been an honor. Um, if you are gonna create the Discord for me, JJ. Um, when the Discord has actually been created, then I'll just, um, once it's been created and the link has been shared with me, obviously, if you could just make me an owner on it, that would be very, very nice. You can remain a moderator on the server itself. Um, and then I'll upload the banner and the profile picture for the NL Night Prime brand. I'm calling it a brand because that's what I want it to be. And it will become that in the future, someday. I'll discuss things with you Tuesday. Sounds good, brother. Sounds good. Okay, so we're still looking to run some maps. So I have completed, completed, completed. So I've got no level one. Okay, I've got a level two map that I haven't done yet. Uh, desecration. Monsters reflect 13% of physical damage. Now that is very fucking bad because I do... 220,000 damage. I've only got 3,000 health. Do you have Discord DMs already? Um, can not just put your name in a Twitch or a X message? I haven't done anything with Discord, like, at all. I haven't created the server for it. I haven't created nothing for it. What I can do is I can create just the base of it. Obviously, that way it's linked to the account that I want it to be linked to. Linked to. Um, actually, let's do this quickly. Let's go. Okay, actually, I'm going to do this for two seconds. Be right back. And let's be smart with this. Uh, that's good. Uh, let's quickly register.
Okay, I'm just quickly confirming that I am a human. I am human. Okay, uh, what it add a server. Let's go with uh, for the base plate. Do you want a gaming, social club, study group, friends, artists, creators, local community? Which will be your best base plate for you to work off of? Or just a blank template that you can do everything from scratch yourself? Gaming. Okay. Uh, f uh, for me and my friends or for um, club or community? For club and community, yeah. Uh, I've got my pictures over here. Okay, that has been done. Yeah, I've gone with the community. That's the blank and everything has been sorted out. Gaming, lobby, clips and highlights, general, etc. Okay, this has been done. I'm going to get you to sort out all the permissions and that kind of stuff. Um, can you just DM me your uh, general? Actually, I'm just going to copy this. Can I whisper to you? Let's do this. Just gonna do this for you, uh, JJ. Dude, do you have any idea how many JJ nineteen ninety sevens are out there? Okay, I whispered it to you. Very, very nice. Okay, now let's just show the community. Let's just do your ass. And. Hey, right, you got it. Now, how the fuck do I make you like a moderator or owner on this thing? Right click. <laughs> Timeout, kick or ban. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, cool. At least you've been added to it. We can do that thing when we move on to it. Awesome. And then I can also, offline, I can go and get myself all sorted out with my pictures and all that kind of stuff. Okay, right, so let's go back to the game quickly. There we go. Okay, we've got the map ready to go. And let's do a powerful beast. Fuck. Okay, JJ, you said you want to watch me die, right? I can guarantee you I'm going to kick... I'm going to hit the first monster and I'm going to die. Because I forgot to change this. Yep. Um, monsters reflect 13% of all the physical damage back at me. I've only got 3,700 life. I do... 220,000. Okay, first enemy and... What? Oh, wait, I don't do... Oh, I don't do physical damage. Never mind. It's a good thing I didn't put money on that. <laughs> I 
I didn't die. Okay. Now, JJ. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. But I think there's a good chance that I got an Opal Scepter. I think. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> things an opal scepter you know the 500 things that are currently on my screen <laughs> it's all the exact same item just with different modifiers on it <laughs> it's the exact same item it's called the opal scepter so it looks exactly the same the only difference is the modifiers I feel like that's cheating. Having one of the, the creatures in the boss room. That was bullshit. Gloves, chain mail, we'll take the grips, we'll take that. some more tetris we'll take the boots we'll take the shield we'll take the wand we won't take that yeah so there's a reason with this game why we run these things the never sync um, um item filter these item filters make it so that later in the game where we're not looking for the cheap shit anymore it completely filters it out and it only shows on screen the good stuff. If we do that, if we go back down to, for example, let's say no item filters at all. Uh, save. Look how cluttered everything starts getting. Like if I backtrack, like you didn't see any of the shit on the screen at all. That's because this is all shit. That got dropped. That I don't need. And can you imagine trying to look through every single one of these things every single time? It will be... It'll be a waste. You're going to spend so much time trying to figure out what the hell's happening on the screen. So, we use item filters. We change it to how strict we want it. Like right now, I'm running it on strict, not on very strict. So, the only thing it's showing is the Omen wand. It's the only thing in this entire collection that's somewhat worth having. And that's an outside thing that you have to download. That's not something that comes back to the game. That is a six socket. That's for like one of the most important things we need. We need a ring. We need another ring. Ground. Everything else might be interesting. So let's go to the arena. Let's do the fight. Fight's over. He's dead. So, JJ, you still there? I got a question for you. Hey, 
in your opinion. Now, this is more so just picking another person's mind to get a another input. How would you say we could go about increasing viewership, drawing attention to the channel more? I asked the Maestro the same thing. And I think I'm now just picking people's brains to see what it is that a person or people are looking for. Okay, he's dead. So, raiding off the streams to similar games or people you find interesting and enjoying with their communities. Maestro has suggested that as well. I just always feel so shit if I'm gonna go raid them with one person or two people. Like, I thought raiding becomes, raiding becomes a more viable strat once you've at least got somewhat of a community that you can take to another person's place. I mean, you're going there trying to get some of their community to potentially come and watch your content and like you and follow you but you're not offering the same in return like it feels kind of cheap i could be completely wrong it could not matter in any form or way but you see where my train of logic is going on that one i'll sing it Or should I just say fuck it and then... Yeah, definitely. Like, I at least want to be able to go there with something. I don't want to go there, like, on my own and be like, Hey, I'm raiding you. Here I am. It's just me. <laughs> Come watch my shit. <laughs> if I raid somebody, I do want to at least offer something to them. And that's just it. Everybody's strategies differ so much. It's like there's no one formula to success. There's no one formula to get it better. And the only reason I'm asking this is because when we when we started um, the beginning of it, like if I bring up some of the analytics and that kind of stuff, like within the first week and a half, maybe two weeks, I had nine followers. That was in the first week and a half, two weeks. Awesome. Cool. The growth was fantastic. It was amazing. And then since then, it's like completely petered off. Like I haven't had a follow in, like I think the last person to follow me was yourself. And then I lost the follower. So I went to 11 and then went back down to 10. So I need to know where it is that I'm falling short or what it is that I need to do to improve to make it better. And I'm terrified at the notion that it might actually be like, hey, you need a camera. People want to see who you are. Now, I know that that engages well. People obviously want a face with a voice that they are interacting with. But I'm hoping that that's not the crux of everything. That's what I'm hoping. And then one of the other concerns I've got, which is a concern that I will never, ever, ever be able to overcome until this becomes a full-time job, 
is time differences. I only stream for about two, maybe three hours in the week from about either nine or half past nine through to about midnight. Sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes not. Am I missing out on a massive demographic by streaming at those hours? Just need a moment. For the European audience, it's fine. Because obviously that's where the, Euro the rest of the European audience falls under. But also understanding that it misses out the entire Northern, Central and Southern American audiences. And that's why I've also been trying to change up like the kind of games that I'm playing. Because I don't want to be just focused on one game. I want it to be for variety. Or should I just start streaming all of the main games? <laughs> the ones that everyone else are playing. Uh, time zone is very for all. But you have to do it when it suits you. At least your schedule you're fairly similar to. Similar and similar times. Yeah, it's always going to be run about the same time. So people know for a fact every single night, almost like clockwork, between nine and half past nine, I'll come on somewhere at that point. And I'll normally be on till about half past 11 midnight. So the consistency is there. And that's just it. Like, I've got the time so people know exactly when I will be on. The times are there. 100%. I don't think I've got the confidence yet to post an actual schedule on the Twitch page so that people can see what I'm going to be streaming. Because that could also potentially change. And that could change on a weekly basis. That could change on a monthly basis. Like, right now, I've got it set up as... Actually, let me just double check. What does it say at the moment? No, you can't see it right now. Uh, can you see it right now? No, you can't see it right now. A uh, 60% increased critical strike. I should get a nice damage boost from this. 220,000. 249,000. 30,000 damage. So I've got in my schedule that I'm going to be playing something that night when there are games listed there, but I'm not always keeping to that schedule of what is mentioned in there. Like it's saying certain nights there's Path of Exile, certain nights there's Pal World, which I actually haven't played at all yet, so I should maybe think about changing that up. I could always just mention there that it'll be whatever game feels right. Boots, 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 bow. So I'm almost done with that side. I'm now on level 75. So we've actually gained quite we've got what got out six, seven levels this evening. Coming along nicely. Now let's quickly put the legendaries away. Uniques. I need to stop calling them fucking legendaries. I just got two of the exact same thing. Wings of entropy. One's better than the other. 
That's very nice. It's an axe. Okay. Let's sell all the rest of the shit. Hail. I need that amulet, sell that and sell that. I'll sing of you. That can go, that can go. Have I done this map? I have not. So we can do that. Let's put away the currencies. That's bullshit. There's a space for them to go. Thank you. I'll take that back. Reflect exposure. Okay, nothing that reflects back on me. That's good. Snap. Let's run a syndicate on it as well. Corpse. I'll take those. Just need a moment to catch up. Don't make a syndicate fight the wait. Let me think. Gruesome. I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Not yet. This person gave me nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't think any of these can be... I need Exile. Nope, none of those can be unveiled. That was kind of a waste. There's so much stuffs. All the stuffs. And about 90% of it is useless. Like that's just it. Like at one point you're picking up so much shit and like a good 80% of it is just completely useless. Like those three things, like I dropped four things, only those three things are useful. To me right now at least. So I'm gonna dump that and that's just because I want to speak to her. And I want to unveil that. Because I just want these things. Once I've confirmed and I've got it, I'm not even taking them with me. Be careful. So, let's drop that. Let's grab those boots. Go Speak in. to her. Unveil. So, with me, I unveil an item. If it's gold, it means it's a modifier that I already know that I can apply to other pieces of gear. The white lines mean I don't know it yet. So, a 30% increase in movement speed and a 100% chance to avoid being chilled. That's massive. Now I know that. Now that's a... a recipe that I can apply onto things that are not uniques. And then on the next one we unveil, I don't know any of them, cold and chaos resistance, increased rarity of items drops by slain rare or unique enemies, and a chance to avoid elemental damage from hits during soul gain prevention. Not really great in either of them, but I'll take the top one for now. One night. Yeah, here's another tower defense, brother. So we select her. We start it. The first one on. Second one on. Third one on. Fourth one on. And this one's going in opposite directions. So yeah, they come from every direction now, so I'm just gonna stand by the thing I need to protect, wait for them to get close, and then just kill them as they come. Just 
Got two stack dick. That's not bad. There we go. That was successful. Got the catalyst. Now we can unlock all of these chests. Get me a heavy belt. That was not fucking worth it. Those are boots. Anything over here. Two stone ring, bone ring. Not worth it. Clear oil. That was fine. All the fun making I didn't even get from the event. And nothing else. So that was... Useless. To say the least. But it had a potential of giving me some good loot. Is that another one? Or is that something else? Approach, challenger. Oh, well, now you're going to finally get to witness which, which me die. Because I have never made it to the end of one of these. I'll just kill off everything around me so I don't get interrupted. Before I start this. Okay, so there's no other creatures around me that should come and interfere me with this event. Okay, they're good. So basically it's a wave defense. So instead of a, a tower defense, it's now a wave defense. So we start by choosing our very first modifier. This is what's going to apply and keep applying and stack every single round. So a ring of blood shining the altar, dealing heavy physical damage over time. Definitely not because I've got very shitty physical defense. Players have a 60% less area effect and projectile speed. Fuck no. All blades will periodically appear and fly at you applying corrupted blood on hit. We'll do that. So wave one complete. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now we can either take the sword and then leave or move on to the next wave. You want to try and get to all 10 rounds. I've never made it to all 10. I normally end up dying. But now we can do monsters have a 50% to all resistances. No, I don't want that. Skulls will appear that spit fire at you if you remain near them. I'll take that because... My fire resistance is very shit. Maybe not. Um, fuck. Let's take the blades again. Okay, we have the second done. Monsters' hits cannot be evaded. Frozen puzzles reportedly appear and explode when you approach. Nope, we'll take that. Next wave, uh, curses and non damage as you apply are reflected. Monsters are unaffected by curses. Fuck no, that will get my shit ruined. So let's just go wave two on that. Uh, next one, 60% reduced, reduced life, mana, and energy shield recovery rate. No. I've got zero life, so won't be an issue. Actually, that should be fine. Because my um, energy shield recovers based on damage that I do. Got nothing to do with uh, my with the recovery rate. Okay, so we're on six or ten. Monsters gain increased cast, movement speed per second. They're alive up to fifty percent. That's fine because they're not going to live long enough to for that to apply. Okay, next reward. Monsters have 50% chance to block attacks and spell damage. That's fine because I attack enough that I'm probably going to go through all of it regardless. Okay, uh, gains 50% of physical damage as extra damage of each element. No, we'll take the choking cloud. Okay, nine. Days have 60% less area of effect and projectile speed. No. 
Skulls will appear and let's spit fire at you. Hell no, we'll just take the extra popping pustules. I just need to pay attention to what's on the floor around me. Okay, we've got one more wave to go. Hopefully we don't fuck it up on the last wave. Uh, monsters hits are always critical strikes. I'm not gonna risk it, I'll go for that instead. Survive, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You play the game well, Fuck the yes. Fuck yes. GG, better. That's the very, very first time I've ever made it to the end of the Trial Master. All 10 waves. <laughs> I feel good with that one. I feel very good with that. So we've got four orbs of binding, two orbs of scouring. I've got zero space, so you can fuck off. Twelve jeweler orbs. A catalyst. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. That's flame dash at level 21, and it's corrupted. I want that for sure, so you can fuck off. And some more orbs of scouring. Very, very, very the much worth it. Holds further challenges. Count on it. This was a nice run. All of that was worth it. This map is fucking big. We've got another syndicate event over here. Oh, damn. This has ended up being a very profitable run. Very, very profitable. Because now if I execute him, he's going to drop shit. If I execute her, she's going to drop more shit. If I bargain with him, he's going to drop even more shit. Cheers, brother. Thank you very much for joining the stream. I really do appreciate it. Look after yourself and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night. And thanks for being willing to help out with the Discord. I'll do bare minimum basics like putting up the picture and the colors and all that kind of shit. And then you can get everything sorted out on Tuesday when we climb into it. Look after yourself. Have a lovely evening. Get some rest and see you tomorrow, man. Much love. Okay, then for myself, I can go ahead and continue unveiling more of this shit. Increased attributes, yes. Uh, the ring will take fire damage and lightning damage. Fire and cold. Only one I've got available to me. Spell damage and mana regeneration, or actually, I'll take that one. Yeah, Ma it's, I almost said mage blood. If I had a mage blood in you, I would be screaming like a little girl. Fucking wish I had a mage blood in you that just randomly showed up. No, I don't think there's anything else that I got. Okay, so we got a flame dash, deals 1975.3 base damage, minimum requirement level is 72, so that's an expensive item. Base duration is 4 seconds, still 749 to 1223 fire damage. What if I to spell damage can apply to the skill damage over time effect? 20% increased cooldown recovery rate. Corrupted. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll hold on to that. Keep your eyes sharp. I think that's me done with this map. I've got no idea where this shit goes. 
I don't even know what the hell this shit is. Doesn't go there. 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 But I can't put the maps in there. Put away the rest of the currencies that I do know. You can go with that. You, 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 you. You go to your friends. Okay. So you fuckers, I have got no idea where you go. Am I not supposed to have an expedition lock, or is that not part of this at all? Does that go over here? Nope, doesn't go in here. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things, so I'm just going to leave them in the corner for now. Along with the oil. And then everything else gets sold. No, everything else does not get sold, because I've got uniques over here. Uh, it's a unique that goes away. It's a unique. Everything else is sellable. Hero. I'll sing of you. Kind of creepy, but thank you. Fuck! Why do I always do that? I'm in the wrong place. Um, leave that out. Everything else is good. Go back to this tab. And this gets added with the shit that I've got no idea what it is. Mm, it's a gem as well. We'll just dump the gem there. Okay, there's a special place that I've been putting this shit. So place into an allocated charm socket on the Willwood Prism Passive skill G right click to remove from the socket. Maximum fire resistance. Gain adrenaline for four seconds. I don't think that is something I've got yet. I don't think I've gone far enough into this. I don't even see a place where we can put it. No idea where that's supposed to go. Wildwood Primalist Passive Tree. Oh, Primalist. I'm not on a Primalist. Okay. I'm guessing. It's because I'm not Primalist that that's not going to work. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is as good as a place for me to end for the evening. We did pretty damn well. We finally reached... Uh, level 72 we're on 76 right now but we reached level 72 where we were able to start using the shadow stitch um as a result of the shadow stitch we were able to take ghost reaver and chaos inoculation which makes me basically have one life but with 3810 shields so it's pretty decent and the fact that i leech energy shield instead of life with the skills that i do have i can basically guarantee my life i'm tanky to a degree certain hits basically wipe out my shield in one hit nothing you can do about that but it's pretty tanky the build is looking absolutely phenomenal we've still got quite a ways to go after this we still need to make our way all the way down here so we need to get one more over here we could get elder power once we've got elder power we need to make our way down towards uh instability and then get the basic jewel socket then we also need to get deep thoughts and then we have to complete the mastery over here for charge mastery and on that one we are going for the three percent increased damage per endurance frenzy or power charge so there's still quite a bit we need to do and then from that point the last direction we're going to go is over to prism weave so we've got quite a bit still more that we need to do but i think from level 69 or 68 through to level 76 was not a bad way to start the evening we also made quite a bit of a dent into our atlas tree we now need to go up to the top here finish off the outer circle and once the outer circle is complete we can start focusing on deleting certain things so we get the ones that we want which is more specifically we want legion we want delirium and we want the harvest that's our goal and we are slowly but surely working our way up the atlas tree as well i haven't been finding the most maps but i have been trying to complete the linked ones as much as possible I know that these are all completed now. That's completed. 
that, that's incomplete. Okay, so we've still got a couple that we can do. But we need to start finding more maps. We need to start climbing in the tiers. I think the highest tier we've done right now is eight. With this one being one that we've already completed. Oh, well. And that's what we're going to be focusing on next. I don't know how much further we're going to go with this build. Because at this point, it's pretty much straightforward. It's the same as what everybody's used to watching the acts. I think my focus is more so on trying to see which builds are viable to get to the maps. More so than which ones can carry you through the maps. But I do want to obviously make sure that whatever's viable getting to uh, maps is strong or decent or okay or shit. One of those. But thank you very much for joining the stream. For those of you that aren't aware, all of my past live streams, including this one, will be posted onto my YouTube channel. So some love and support over there would be highly appreciated. When it comes to the Twitch channel itself, help me spread the word. Reach out on your social media platforms. Help spread the word, share the link, bring people as many as you can, and let's help grow this community. It would mean a lot to me. But without further ado, have a lovely evening and or day further, depending on where you are. Look after yourselves and be safe. Until next time.